this video, we're gonna have a quick look at the Autodesk Vault mobile app. So first off, the app is available for iOS devices, being iPads and iPhones, not currently available for the Android platform. There's a few things you need to know. The first thing is when connecting, you wanna use the server's IP address. Uh, you'll connect faster and you'll have less issues with it. If you're using the app externally, so outside of your company, you're gonna need a VPN for external access, and that's because this works just like Vault. To get to your Vault client, you need VPN access. It's currently compatible with Vault Professional 2019, 2020, and 2021. It's not compatible with any other version, so if you're running Vault Workgroup or Vault Basic, this app's not for you. Cost. The app's free, but you need access to Vault Professional at this stage. And the app itself is in pre-release. So it's, a, it's similar to a technology preview and Autodesk have put out a little statement saying that the release preview of Vault Mobile is an early preview of the application with all features currently available without requiring a Vault license. Autodesk has the right to remove the release preview benefits or terminate access at any time. The release preview benefits are subject to change or modification if Autodesk chooses at our discretion to release the application commercially to Vault subscribers. So let's jump into a demo. So once we fired up the app for the first time, we can click on the settings option. And inside of here, we set our server. Remember, we want to use an IP address. And once we've done that, we'll see our available vaults. In this instance, we're going to click into training and I'm going to log on. I've got my Explorer, my files, any change orders and items. If I click on a specific item in this instance, I can see that it's currently at work in progress. I can see any history or attachments and I can even change the state in this instance to released and I can set a comment. Once I've done that, pop over to the history and we'll even be able to see the change that we've just made. Moving along, we can go and look at files from our Explorer and I can do previews. So here I've got a preview of the file. I can spin it around using the large model viewer. And from there, we can go back to the properties of this component. I can see its history. I can see its users. I can see it's where used. And I can even do things like change its state or add it to a change order. So there you have it, the Vault mobile app. We hope that you enjoyed this video.